Welcome back, you two. Welcome back to the drama experience. It's your boy Dim. I'm Tay. And this is Fire. Right, it's knocked out. For those of you that are new to the channel who haven't watched our last video, we, we are traveling, traveling to Gambia. We are on our way to the airport. Like always, I'm ready. I'm excited. Raya seems, I think, excited, but she's, she's sleeping. Very, very tired. Look at this. Driver said it looked like we were moving. You say it was like we, we were moving with all the luggages? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like, like... Moving to LA. <laughs> <laughs> we are very close to the airport. I would say we're about four minutes away after being in the car for almost an hour, maybe a little bit more. Once we get there, we we'll check in. We're gonna go to the lounge and chill for a little bit because we are very early, but we are early on purpose because international, you know you want to get there on time. When you're going through security, since we have a toddler, we have liquids that they have to test, so we have to take our time to get through security with Raya. Yeah. So we catch our guys at the airport when we're about to take off. Peace. We are currently in uh, the business class lounge. Say hi, you two. Say, right, say hi. Say hi, you two. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Security wasn't bad. We checked in all six of our luggages, our three carry-ons, book bags, everything in between. And now we're at the lounge eating. The food is very good. But I'm trying to download some episodes of the Best Man Thousand Chapters on my iPad before we go. All in all, it's going well. Yep. Traveling with a two-year-old is not for the weak oh, and man. not for the impatient. Right, it's more to handle than I thought. Next. We're good on a flight to go to Brussels. Our first flight is about six hours and we're about to go so. Yeah. Look at uh, just We got some fire lights, you know what I mean? Catch our guys when we land in Brussels. <laughs> we'll catch you in Brussels. The layover was decent, but the flight was delayed. They're kind of moving quickly to get us to our destination, so we're going to be flying about five hours and 23 minutes to Gambia. Yeah, so we're about to take off um, five hours until we reach Gambia. Say bye bye, bye, y'all. There he goes. Tempo, Gambia nice. Uh, Gambia nice. <laughs> Raya, you touched down in Gambia? So we're at the airport. It's giving hot. I'm mad hot. Our luggages are all here, all six of them. We got all the carry on. So we're waiting on Mariama and Ice to come do security so that we can get their bags so we can get on. I'm happy. Raya's aggravated. Tempo, <laughs> I'm good. Good. Welcome to the journey experience, Yami edition. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Raya, welcome to Gambia. You looking up? Come on, let's go. You like it? Oh yeah, girl. So overall, the flights were good. Mm -hmm. The Brussels to Gambia flight was long. Yeah, it was same long. It was like six, seven hours. I, think. I, I felt like it, but it was really five hours. I even got a second flight. I knocked out from Brussels to Gambia. I was gone. Raya on the first flight, um, she was okay. She was a little hyper for like the first two to three hours, then yeah. she fell asleep. And she knocked out. But the flight was six hours, so she slept half the flight. So like she really hours. didn't get a, a mm -hmm. good night's sleep. She was really, really Yo. active on the second flight when we got there. She was kind of moving a lot. And I was like, I'm just not trying to do this right now. So I gave her a kid's melatonin. Oh. 
And at first, Brian was still jumping, and I was like, wait a minute it's now. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. I said, this kid didn't eat it. Did she drop it on the floor? <laughs> she did eat it, though. You saw her eat it. But I don't know. The girl wasn't going down as quick as, as I wanted her to. Make sure you know. Whole flat. <laughs> she was out. Raya didn't wake up until 30 minutes before landing. Just enough time for me to change her diaper, put her mm -hmm. shoes on, and get her off the plate. Melatonin is a go. <laughs> Well, you traveling with a two-year-old, I think you're going to need that. So, that was just an update of how our flight went, how was Raya on the plane. Yeah. But we're safe, we're good, and we are planning for a lot of festivities. Like we said before, we are going to a surprise African country in a few days. Yeah, stay um, tuned, guys. So, stay tuned. Raya, say hi. Say hi. You look beautiful. Uh, twirl, baby. Oh, oh, you're so beautiful. Say cheese. Look at mommy. Look at mommy. Ryan is not. My baby is knocked out. Rich uncle. <laughs> He's tight. He's tight. We take it on town trip. What's town trip? Hello. Dora. Yeah. Yeah. Office? Since when? Dora. What's up? Momo. Yeah. Look at Uncle Dem. Yo. Ryan, say what's up. All right, and Auntie May, and me, of course. <laughs> right here. here All right, come, come. Look, 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 look. She's scared. Look, 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 mommy. Oh, you see, he take it. That's monkey. Right there. Okay. Uh oh. See, look. see, he eat it. <laughs> yes. It is monkey. He want more. Mommy, not monkey. Ah. You want to feed them? Uh, hmm? No, no. Aww. <laughs> Ryan, look. All right, look. Look, give the monkey the banana. No, 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 no. See, oh, oh, look. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Way to the airport because Miss Fatima is landing in the Gambia. So she actually landed already, but we're gonna get there. So we wait. You wanna see how packed the airport is, right? This is crazy. Yo. Yo, why she acting like that? Why you <laughs> Alright, so look, listen. This is how you know we're officially in Africa. My sister's about to get married, and they brought her a goat. Her husband's family brought a goat. You see her? <laughs> <laughs> it's a goat. You see? What sound does a goat make, Raya? Hi. Raya, what is that? It's not no, a cow. No, mommy, that's a goat. It's a goat. I keep saying that. You keep saying cow. They bought Auntie Goat. If you don't bring one of these, I don't know. Go get you a goat. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, they mark know. him. What the? What the oh. Oh, Maybe cow. that's a small. That means small. He's small purchased. <laughs> ching ching. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, we are about to surprise our mom with a, a cake. cake. Yeah, she's about to surprise her with a cake. For building this beautiful house. Yeah. She's always wanted this house. 
She put a, a lot of hard work and a lot of money into this house. One of her goals was to have her whole family here in the house, including her granddaughter, so we made it happen. We're surprising her with this beautiful cake that we got made. It says, congrats, mom, for her hard work and dedication. Building her first home in Gambia. Right, Raya? So we're about to surprise her right now. She already knows it's coming, but stay tuned. So, today is our final day in the Gambia. Yeah. A very slow week for us, I yeah. feel like. The biggest issue of why it was a, a slow week for us and we had to spend a lot more time in the house than we would like is because we've been having a lot of car issues. Even when we went to the monkey park, we said like, you know, we were waiting for our car. So town trips are basically like Uber X here, yeah. but without the app. One of the issues is that, like we said, our car, right? So what happened is we went and got gas and we <laughs> put the wrong gas in the car. So we thought Petro is like gas, like regular gas, but our car is a diesel car in Gambia. The car that we have is a, a diesel, diesel car. car. It's weird. So we put Petro in the diesel car oh, and then when we drove from the airport the car said boom and it started the, making mad noise and then it just stopped on us so we had to leave a part at the bakery we get the car back but now it's like it's no suspension on the car yo i don't know what they did they fixed the, the gas situation and then we come back the suspension was just messed up every bump we hit it was like a a roller coaster. Like I felt like I, I lost an organ like four times. <laughs> Yo, I wish we could have caught that. Yo, that it was, it was crazy. crazy. Yes, we had to take the car back. I was like, I right, bet we can't do this with no car because where we live at is very secluded and far. So our house, there's a lot of people that still are building. Like even right here, you yeah. see this person is kind of uh, is building their home. Exactly. Like it's a lot of houses that are oh in the back over there. Yeah. You can kind of see there's a house there. Yeah. People are still building. Like a lot of people are building in this area. Yeah. So the, so we secluded. So we had to go get a rental, y'all. We got a rental, and what happened, babe? We got the rental. We had the rental for no lie, like five hours. We on our way home, and Dip hit a pothole. Boom. He hit a ditch, and the car just shut off on us. Yo, just shut off. So we like, what the? Yeah. I'm like, yo, alright, we. Just paid for a rental for a couple days, and this car is, we didn't even have it for a full day, and it just broke down broke on down us. Broke down on us. And thank God, we had somebody that was so nice. This, I ain't gonna lie, he was so he nice. He was so sweet. He, mm -hmm. not only did he try to help us fix the car, he drove us home, and, and we lived far. far. Like I said, we lived secluded, we lived far. He drove us all the way home, we left the car, and um, called the guy that we got the rental from, and told him the car just broke down, and what he told us was the battery came out of place. Came out of place, so. So we get a town trip from mm -hmm. our house to the resort because we went to the resort for a few days. Oh yeah, th thankfully. Stay, stay tuned for that. For yes. African, prin uh, the African, African princess. princess. Mm -hmm. And we get there, whatever. We're driving, and guess what? The driver hears our story, and he's like, "Oh, I know somebody who has a car." Yeah. So we secure a car for like two days, and that was when we were um, at the African princess. So mm -hmm. we had a car, but then once we checked out and got back, we had to give that car back. Cause somebody else was renting it. I was trying to force him to see if he had other cars. That didn't work. Basically, we was carless for like a the, day. On top of that, it's also like a cultural thing. Like when when you come, our oh, yeah. um, family are gonna come to like greet you, greet them both mom because she just got here. Yeah. So we had a lot of family coming over. Important and things. people to pull up. Yeah, a lot of important people. Um, and like a lot of key family members have been coming by. A lot of family never met Raya before or me. So you know, we're just home greeting people. It's been a slow week. But today we're trying to do something because we're leaving. We're about to go out to lunch. Besides that, uh, the trip was fun. It was great. You know what I mean? It was relaxing. We had a great time. Um, a lot of bonding. Yes. But and if you are like, if you're African, or even if you're not African and you've never been to Africa, mm -hmm. especially if you are black or African American, yeah. I 
highly, highly suggest you come to Africa. We've been to two, three African, African countries three. this year. Yeah, Zanzibar, Ghana, Gambia, of course. Yeah. And for me, I think it's one of the most humbling things you could ever do. Like, for sure, for sure. you could ever do. Um, it is an adjustment for some part. I feel like less of an adjustment now, especially with the living arrangements, because we live in this house and yes, we have yes. like running water. Like, when I say running water, like water coming out the faucet yeah. and things like that, air conditioning, mm -hmm. all of those things. So, that's definitely a luxury and a different type of experience. Definitely a luxury but, out here in the Gambia, like a big luxury. You know what I mean? But, but yeah. overall, even the way that the country moves, how we catch a taxi, how you have to negotiate like all of and these the money things difference, all that. money difference um gifting people even small like 200 delicies two three dollars two three dollars could go a long way for that person so really um i highly recommend it it's like an extremely sure. humbling um experience and i love traveling to countries where black people are the majority yeah. i love that when i walk outside and i see my people everywhere <laughs> just a whole bunch of wonderful blackness black one of the only places that you're gonna get that is africa, africa. yeah i hope y'all enjoy this vlog stay tuned for more guys we're going we got more coming for y'all everybody's getting ready we're gonna end the day with the family lunch at Plotsby because they loves that spot yo that spot is amazing Slim. so that's what we're gonna end our dinner at and then we are to the airport back to the u.s catch y'all guys later <laughs> Listen, this is how we do it. Relax. The taxi's gonna wait. They're gonna wait. They're gonna wait. They're gonna wait. Down trip will wait if you know you know. Town trips have arrived. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm gonna get it now. Say hi, baby. Yo, we back at it again. Oh, your passion food that we good. It's nice. My heart doing one? The food has arrived. Bon appetit. We about to chow down, right? We about to chow down and get back to our guys. The field. officially boarded the flight. Raya's acting a fool already. We're hot, we're sweaty, but we made it. 16 plus hours in the United States. I hope you enjoyed our vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for joining the drama experience.